That would have really, really shown him up, wouldn't it? If I brought in some burritos or some colored greens or some pad thai. Love pad thai. It's collard greens. Okay, well, it's after five, so thank you very much. Buena Vista, Oscar. Thank you. Good job. Ah, oh, my man. Thank you, Brazil. Nice. Um, uh, not a bad day. What? Did you want to tell me something? You look like you want to tell me something. You look like you have something really important to say and you just can't for some reason. Come on, you can tell me. Jim, you can tell me anything. Oh, wow, that is really interesting. What? Your love, I'm just kidding, I can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> Look closer. Oh, okay. One point for me. Tied up. Oh, you're dead. What, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Bring it, Beasley. Bring it. Oh, yeah, the move. Oh, Ooh, no. not such an ultimate fighter oh, now, huh? Hey, put me down. Put me <laughs> down. Oh, my God. Hey, put me down. Hey. Okay, gentlemen, listen up. So this year, for the first time ever, I got Pam in Secret Santa, and I got her this uh, teapot, which I know she really wants, so she can make tea at her desk. But I'm also gonna stuff it with some inside jokes, like this is my high school yearbook photo. She saw it at the party, and it really makes her laugh. Not sure why. Um, what else? Ooh, this is a hot sauce packet. She put this on a hot dog a couple years ago because she thought it was ketchup. <laughs> and uh, it was really funny, so I kept the other two. This would take a little too long to explain, so I won't. And this is a card. Because Christmas is the time to tell people how you feel. <laughs> you know, you don't have to answer calls during a party. Um, just thought you should know. <laughs> no, I was just um, checking out my present. I traded with Dwight. Um, just, I figured, you know, you went to a lot of trouble and it means a lot. And also, Roy got me an iPad, or uh, was going to get me an iPad, so. Well, either way, this is an amazing gift because it comes with bonus gifts. Look inside. <laughs> the yearbook picture. Yeah, I think I made the right choice. <laughs> oh my god, it's incredible. Is this the boggle timer? I didn't think you were gonna get that one. I really didn't. That one. What? Oh, nothing. Pam's on vacation, and she gets back tomorrow, so it'll be nice to see her. It'll be nice. And uh, she set a date for the wedding with Roy, uh, June, summer. So that'll be nice. And that's that. What? Oh, nothing. Um, I'm sorry for pushing you toward Cumberland. Seriously, if you left here, I would blow my brains out. <laughs> Come on. That's just a figure of speech, you know? Blow your brains out? Come on.
All it really means is that we're friends. And who else is she gonna talk to if I'm gone, right? I mean, if she left, I wouldn't blow my brains out. Of course, I would take that job in Maryland because it's double the pay and soft shell crab just happens to be my favorite food. <laughs> I'm sorry for pushing you toward Cumberland. Seriously, if you left here, I would blow my brains out. <laughs> Come on. That's just a figure of speech, you know? Blow your brains out? Come on. All it really means is that we're friends. And who else is she gonna talk to if I'm gone, right? I mean, if she left, I wouldn't blow my brains out. Of course, I would take that job in Maryland because it's double the pay, and soft shell crab just happens to be my favorite food. It's getting kind of rowdy down there. Yeah. Daryl, Daryl, <laughs> Daryl. Sometimes I just don't get Roy. I mean, I don't know. So, what's it like dating a cheerleader? <laughs> oh. Um. I'm cold. Suppose your office building's on fire. Jim, who would you save? Um, let's see, uh, the customer, because the customer's king. You know what? I would save the receptionist. I wanted to clear that up. Hey, everybody. Um, can I get your attention for uh, just a second? Can you listen to me for a second? Um, we were up at the front and we were talking about what's really important. And Pam, um, I think enough is enough. I think we should set a day for our wedding. On uh, June 10th. Woo! Come on, let's do it. She's full of it. Straight. Oh, uh, three nines. Jim. <laughs> Jim Albert, ladies. Thank you very much. It was fun. Uh, oh, hey, do you have your quarterly numbers? Yes, absolutely. Uh, questionnaire. Yep. Sorry to make you fill that thing out. Oh, no, it's absolutely. Stupid HR formality. We have this very irritating HR guy here. He's probably the only person you're not going to like. I bet Jim got the job. I mean, why wouldn't he? He's totally qualified and smart. Everyone loves him. And if he never comes back again, that's okay. We're friends, and I'm sure we'll stay friends. We just, we never got the timing right. You know, I shot him down and then he did the same to me and, but you know what, it's okay. I'm totally fine. Everything is gonna to be totally fine. Sorry. Um, are you free for dinner tonight? Yes. All right. Then it's a date. I'm sorry. 
Sorry, what was the question?